can't say we're loaded, man. It's your boy, Three Letter Man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Y'all see where to follow your boy at. Hit the like button also. I appreciate that. Y'all see the title of this one, man. Let's talk about it. What is there to say, man? Obviously, T-Rex versus Chess was supposed to go down tonight. Um, obviously, I was looking forward to that battle a lot. I had Chess winning that battle, going into the battle. Um, a lot of people, I felt, was down on Chess because... Not even because of the rapping portion of Chess. Just because they feel he's a liability in the sense of picking him to win a battle because of chokes and mishaps and things of that nature, right? Uh, T-Rex, who is coming off um, the just Big K battle, and thing, I had actually had T-Rex, Big K beating T-Rex 2-1 in that battle. I know some people had T-Rex winning that battle, fine. Spoke the chest before the battle, and what I like about, uh, what I liked about the dynamic the actual dynamic of Chess and Twerk was, I mean, Chess and um, Rex was, that both of these brothers came into the game at a very young age. At a very young age. Young dudes come into the culture to back, to rap, right? Uh, very disappointing how this battle went. Now, I know a lot of people in this culture, we love to play the blaming game. We love to point at people who did right, who did wrong. If you ask me, everybody across the board has a portion of blame if you want to play the blaming game, okay? Um, chess plays a part. Um, Rex plays a part. You want to go chess first? Let's go chess. Chess, I do feel you are a, a, a very aggressive in this battle. Um, I don't want to say you antagonize and Rex to fight, but I do understand also Rex... You're talking through people rounds. Now, I did. A, I was on Instagram Live earlier, and Gwitty had, shout, shout out to Gwitty. He was alluding to the fact that even though Chess was why he Chess should have kept rapping because this is what Rex does. Now, let me say this. This is what, so we're excusing Rex because he does that? Yes, Rex does that. Rex talks through rounds. Goods talks through, I see Goods did a blog about people fighting and everything. Goods, throwing a bottle against Hollow, punching gems. Okay, whatever, my brother. But I digress. But Rex talks through people rounds. Goods talks through people rounds. Calico talks through people rounds. Clips talks through people rounds. And JC talks through people rounds and does the micing of you when you're actually battling, right? Um, disappointed because this is the battle that you that I. We all wanted to see, right? Um, Rex came out. The King, instead of shielding himself, line the chess um, card game, the checkers jumping jack, you know, and respect to Rex, but I felt when he was rapping, like he was getting more love and oohs and ahs from his mans and them behind him more than the crowd, you know? He had a treasure chess line. Um, the VA cross that that line was tough, and, and Rex had, Rex had said something to his mans and them during a the battle. They're not feeling me tonight. I think Rex was kind of surprised. I, in my heart of hearts, I believe Rex was surprised that the crowd really wasn't really rocking with him too tough in this battle. In his first round, I said his battle. In his first round, of certain things that he was saying, because when he was rapping, I'm like, okay, he had a Don King, Mike Tyson. You know, I thought it was a beatable round, even when he did a rock. Trainee rumors take it to the to your grave line. See, here's the thing about Rex, man. The brother's delivery, cadence, and flow is always going to be top tier. Always, it's still there. He, he has not lost that attribute in his battle rap as he's you know winding down in his career. It's just that even though he has the aggressive, the loud delivery, and the fast pace of rapping, the, the bars are okay. When he was rapping, all I could think to myself is, okay, Chess, this is a beatable round. If you don't beat this round, you don't need to win this battle at all, respectfully. <laughs> if Chess can't beat that first round, you know, and then obviously we got we only got a little bit of Chess bars, a 12 tub skinny line, skinny with a 12. I thought that line alone was better than anything Rex said 
in his first round. And it, he had a chess with, you know, the neighborhood, you know, Rex reps the gang culture of the neighborhood, don't accept him, who let the door open. So that was two lines already from chess that I liked more than anything Rex said in, the, in his first round. And t then he went to getting testy. I didn't think it was going to get that physical and that crazy. I thought it was a little bit of just battle rap pandering and back and forth. Like I said, I do think Chess was... I heard Chess say through the, through the telecast, oh, we could knuckle up or fight after the battle, outside or anything like that. It should not get to that extreme. It should not get to that extreme. Now, I saw some, somebody say online that Rex... And I'm not saying I believe this. this was, I'm just paraphrasing a conversation I had with somebody online. That Rex was depending on Chess to choke. First of all, I don't know how you know that Rex was depending on Chess to choke. I just feel the first round, I think Rex was surprised being that it's NY. Come on, 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 on the walkout, Rex got a lot of love when he came out. A lot of love when he came out. Rex and Mook, they, you know, NYC. And I think because it's NYC and he's a, he's a, he's a vet, I think Rex was surprised he wasn't he wasn't getting a lot of oohs and ahs. Right? And then here we go with the fighting. And then Chess, you got to understand something. You're a repeated offender, respect for the young blood. You are a repeated offender when it comes to almost, getting, you know, tussling and battles and things going less, less and then they got to stop the battle and stuff like that. And you just hate to see that. You hate to see that, man. You know? I just see somebody put a tweet out there. Which was better? Cancel Christmas, Homecoming 2, I Battle, or Queen of the Ring? Let me get y'all the folks right now. So, Queen of the Ring got 3.1. Jesus. Um, cancel Christmas, which is um, Remy's League, Chrome 23. They got 30%. Homecoming, which is URL, got 28%. And I battle got 38%. And you know what's funny about I battle? I remember last night, because I was doing I was watching Queen of the Ring, and I saw a lot of a lot of people who I rock with was really rocking with that battle. I, I, I battle joints. You know? So what happens now? Are we gonna get a rematch or what we gonna what, what's happening? That's what people are saying, man. Had Calico out there performing songs. <laughs> that be, me... oh my God. Somebody say Huss is the only one holding down the New York crown. Yeah. All right, so let me see. Fettuccine, shout out, shout out to Fetty. Fetty got Swamp Edge in 2 1, Shook 30, Hustle 30, Geechee 30, Twerk 2 1, clear. Hmm. <laughs> So, I don't know, y'all. It's a weird. What would I? What, what would I rank? Um, homecoming. We didn't get chess and twerk. So six or seven. Six or seven. I would from scale of one to ten. Obviously, I'll give it six or seven. Let me see what people are saying online, man. Yeah, let me say about the Mook and twer the World Twerk battle. I I'm not gonna review that just yet. And no, I know you know what's so funny though. People, some things that people say in this culture is weird. Somebody then because I, you don't recap battle, you, you don't want to say somebody won or lost a battle, which I think is crazy. I kind of like doing reviewing battles. What Mook battle have I never reviewed? I reviewed every Mook battle, knowing the mankind whether I think he won or lost. I picked Mook to lose against Gucci Gotti. I recapped that Gucci Gotti win the battle. The Mook battle Tay Rock. I picked Tay Rock to be Mook. I still recapped the battle and gave Mook the win. On my channel, you can pull up the interview I did with Mook after the Tay Rock battles on my channel. I just I had I had I picked QB to be E Heart. And I had E Heart come on the show and I apologize to, to E Heart. So when y'all say things, ugh. Um it's a weird night. We where are we gonna battle rap? You know? Not so uh, 
don't know, man. Leave comments at the bottom, man. Tell me what y'all think, man.